We are in Las Vegas and we checked in last night and we are heading towards Sedona. Las Vegas itself is all surrounded by mountains but I am seriously very willing to go to Sedona or actually Arizona. I want to visit most of the parts of Arizona. So I have like four to five days of vacations. So let's see what all I can see in those days. So we are in Hard Rock Hotel and we are going out now. <laughs> Some very nice colorful guitars. We have checked out at 7 in the morning. So here it comes from a stand. from the place where I stay uh, right now so Pennsylvania is very different from Las Vegas so this place has deserted mountains actually we are looking for the Hoover Dam right now we just took a detour on Vivek's request <laughs> we are going to Hoover Dam Okay, yeah, let's, go. let's go back. Hi guys, we are in uh, Red Rock State Park. I wanted to show you all different rocks. There are there are multiple rocks that are named differently based on uh, how they look. So there is one rock that is uh, named as Cathedral Rock. There is another rock that is named as Napoleon Tomb. There is another rock that is named as Three Sisters. And the, I think the last one is uh, Seven Warriors. So in front of me, there is a rock which is called as Three Sisters. This is the view of the Three Sisters rock. So now we are moving ahead. Let's go. Where are we? Right here. I want to go here and then go to visitor center. There is an easier way right there, but I don't want to take that. Let's go. Okay. So we are going through the smoke trail? Yes. Okay, so we are going through the smoke trail. Let's go. I'm enjoying the hike so far. It's a beautiful one. So, there was a board where it was written that the red color in the rocks is because of the iron oxide present in them. I know I can see some cactus behind me, so let me show you some cactus. So this park has a lot of cactus. So the whole trail is, oh, it's all red in color. This area of the Red Rock State Park is called the Danger Cliff. This is very clearly written over here. So I hope that you are able to see at the back. Though there is sun at back of me. We are not able to locate the trails. So it has a very different path. So this is how it looks. Alright, let's go. It's quite astonishing actually. I'm enjoying the trip so far. 
we have uh, covered a big trail mm -hmm. but uh, we made that big trail using four different trails mm -hmm. so we started with the uh, javelin trail okay we took over apache fire trail okay then we uh, did a segment of uh, sentinel trail okay and uh, we are finishing with a smoke trail yeah bye bye for now So we are like walking on the trail of Grand Canyon. So this is like a nine miles of hike, and we have covered four miles. So it is 4.5 miles on on one side, and we have covered around four miles. When I have gone for a couple of treks in India, uh, what happens is that we always go up first, and then while coming back we come down. But here it is a little different. It's like while going we are going down, and coming back would be all up so it's it's see I, i'm not actually tired but my feet they are paining a little bit so we are going towards the plateau point and this is the scenery which i'm able to see from here so as per the week this is the most beautiful point from morning up till now all right so the plan of visiting grand canyon began in 2015 december and i am implementing it in november 2017 so i'm very happy that it finally got implemented and so we have reached the plateau and it is just stunning <laughs> this is just stunning everything around here just looks so 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 beautiful okay let me give you another glimpse of the river colorado and So in the morning a very small part of the river was visible when we started the hike but now the river is visible very clearly and what else it's just stunning so let's see <laughs> now it's like i have hiked down and now we have like 6 miles to hike back and it's always easier to get down than to like hike up So let's see that how much time are we going to uh take to cover the 6 miles hike and let's see I'm already a little bit tired but I'm feeling a little refreshed after taking a little bit a uh, little bit of gap a little bit of break All right see ya We started the hike at 8:00 in the morning and we covered the rim trail so it was like a 2.5 miles hike and after that we went all the way down which was like a 6 miles hike actually it was a 4.5 mile but we wanted to see the colorado river to itself it was 4.5 plus 1.5 so it was a total hike of 6.5 sorry 6 miles in total and while coming back i was literally murdered <laughs> i had no energy to do anything and but still we finished the hike of 12 plus 2 and a half miles which is 14 and a half miles in uh, how many hours uh, it was uh, approximately 10 so we completed the hike at 6:45 pm and i was like with no energy i was i was literally crawling on the trail actually <laughs> it was just too difficult so the thing is that we should have thought of uh, going and staying there for a night and then coming back the other morning but that was not the plan we actually already booked the colorado river out for tomorrow morning so <laughs> we could not have done that thing so let's see that how the river after is going to be tomorrow and today it's quite tiring i was literally feeling sleepy on the trail itself i was like if somebody gives me a bed i can't sleep there right away at that same moment so it was a very wonderful experience but the thing is that you should have a lot of water and some good healthy snacks with you which you uh, which can give you instant energy which we were lacking today i was a lot of uh, snacks 
yeah we had a lot of snacks but i was uh, having a feeling that we should have get raid or something like that which could uh, which could have given us instant dinner so it was a nice trip so let's see how the colorado river rafting is going to be next tomorrow. stop is uh, masmic lodge bye for now <laughs> So we are going towards the raft. Actually, it's a it's not a raft, I guess. It's like a motor boat. So it is going to carry a lot of people. So this is how the boat looks okay, like. So we are deciding where to sit because uh, I have experienced when we sit in the front, we always get a splash of water on our face. So I just like that experience. So let me see as we are getting down at last. Do you think that we would get a chance to sit in the front anymore? Uh, I want to sit in the front. Hey, what's up? Hi. Hi. Hey guys from India. Yeah. Yes. Namaste. Namaste. I was there in January. January? Oh wow, nice. We'll I'm going. January yeah. Oh, <laughs> Welcome everybody. This is not a My name is George, but I'm close. You can call me Georgie. <laughs> Welcome to Colorado River Discovery and Glen Canyon National Recreation Area. That's where we are. This is Glen Canyon, not exactly Grand Canyon. That's about 100 miles downstream. This is the Glen Canyon Dam, and I'll be referring to that a lot today. Yes, sir. It's 710 feet from the deck. We get off from the boat and now we are walking. Actually, we are following the guide who was driving the boat. So, a lot of history is associated with these rocks, with these mountains actually. So, it's stunning. They are big, huge mountains. Yeah, thank you. Did you notice the pronghorn antelope down below, at the bottom here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, why would they be so low to the ground? Well, because, because it was filled in? That's right. The ground was not there. Somebody was probably standing, and all of this has probably been filled in. But the National Park Service does not want to excavate it because it is best preserved left alone. And so there are probably more petroglyphs down below. <laughs> 